Last Friday, around 2 a.m., I was discussing something with my wife and I told her, I said, baby, if you call yourself a Christian and you don't have time for prayer, you don't have time for the word, it means you are not serving God. A lot of people go to church, but they are not serving God. I am telling you, a lot of people go to church. They give. They do so many things, but listen to me, they are not serving God. If you take the word and prayer from your Christian journey, I am telling you, backslide. What shows that a man is serving God is a beloved. That person always studied the word. Have time for the word. Have time to pray. And listen to me. When you study the Bible in the book of Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2, I think verse 36 to 37. The Bible said there was a prophetess called Anna. <laughs> Luke chapter 2 verse 36. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Hannah, of the tribe of Asa. She was of a great age and had lived with an hundred seven years from her virginity. Verse 37. I love the 37. He said, and she was a widow of about four score and four years which departed not from the temple but served don't forget that word but served God with fastings and prayers night and day so if you are not in prayers if you are not praying you are not serving God you are not serving God if you are a prayerless person be not that you are not serving God because listen to me Christianity is all about the word and prayer Christianity is all about talking to your maker. Christianity is all about communicating with the one you are following. That is Christianity. Christianity is all about communicating with your maker and following his instructions. That is the Bible. So Apostle Paul one day said something. He said we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Two things. Two things. When God appeared unto me, he asked me two questions. Will you preach my word? Will you lead my people to pray? And, and, and two things, two powerful keys. And Apostle Paul said, he said, we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. So, if you don't have time for these two things, you are not serving God. You are not serving God. A lot of people are serving social media. Listen to me. Anything that takes your attention from God, that thing is your God. Should I say it again? Anything that takes what? Your attention from God. That thing is your God. So if you always spend time on social media, social media is your God. Some people can hold their phones, beloved, for five hours. Five hours. Your phone is your God. Your phone is your God. Your phone. If you don't have time to pray, if you don't have time to study the word, beloved, you are not serving God.